So I'm out this video sitting for quite a while. Let me turn this one off. Because I knew that I would definitely be going to the cinema three times in the next couple days. So what my original plan was, was that on Thursday, I don't know what date, but let's say, let me get a calendar here. If I can find the calendar up on my tablet. There it is. <clears throat> uh, first day of the 22nd. I was going to see Hypnotic. That Ben Affleck movie. But then. There was a problem with the car. So I couldn't go see it. Then I was planning to go see. I think Fast and Furious. On Friday the 19th. Or Friday the 23rd. Once again, car still broken, so didn't do it. I don't even know if it did the Fast and Furious review, I don't think it did. Mm. So, you know, didn't go see um, Hypnotic is now out of cinema, so I'll just need to wait till it's on something Netflix, Sky, whatever. Um, so I eventually saw Fast and Furious on the 26th, and then I think it was, I think that's where he said it was the 28th, then I planned to see Indiana Jones on the 29th, but I got a DM from Dylan going like, why did you not invite me to the Asteroid City? I didn't know you wanted to come. I was like, okay, from now on I'm going to announce what films I'm going to see in cinema. So that if anyone wants to come with, they can come with. So, you know, I was planning to see Indiana Jones on the 29th, if I haven't already said all this. Um, but I'll, I'll put in the group chat, I need to turn my sound off. I'm not going to tell you what that is, because that means they can just go, oh, you should finish from this. Anyway. <clears throat> so, put it in the group chat. Driver said, "Yeah, I want to go, but I'm working on like every day, bar Monday, as in the third. So, haven't seen it yet. Uh, wait until then. But you know, I just thought, you know, I'm going to the cinema a lot, so." There's no point in making a video now because I might as well just wait until I see Indiana Jones then make the video. But it's just there's so much stuff, and I've I've forgotten some things, so there are gonna there probably will be things that I won't review because I just forgot about it. I didn't write it down or anything like that. So I'm I'm just gonna go through this in a really random order. <clears throat> <clears throat> Asteroid City. Universally positive rating directed by Wes Anderson a scene in the cinema. Scarlett Johansson, Maya Hawk, Jason Schwartzman, Sophia Lillis, Marco Robbie, Tom Hanks, Tony Revolori, Adrian Brody, Rupert Friend, Ed Norton, Brian Krasen, Steve Carell, Matt Dillon, Jeff Goldblum, Rita Wilson, Tilda Swinton, Jeffrey Wright, Willem Dafoe, Lee Schreiber. Honestly, it's probably Wes Anderson's second best film. Like, the only thing uh, better than it is Grand Budapest Hotel, obviously. Seen it with Ginger. Uh, he wasn't that big of a fan of it. Because I think what he said but it was it was style over substance, as if... You know, he, he knows what Wes Anderson's style is like. Because he's seen Grand Budapest Hotel, but that's what I don't understand. Well, whatever. I really had a lot of things to say about this, but because it's been five days, six days, uh, there's going to be a lot that I forgot. Fast X. Uh, mixed ratings, surprisingly. <laughs> Watch it in the cinema. Vin Diesel, Jason Momoa, Alan Richardson, Rita Moreno, Michelle Rodriguez. Michelle Rodriguez, Brie Larson, Charlize Theron, Tyrese Gibson, Jason Statham, Jordana Brewster, Scott Eastwood, 
Daniel Melchior, Michael Rooker only appears in archival footage. John Cena, Nathalie Emmanuel, Lita Chris, Cardi B. I don't actually know about that. Paul Walker, obviously, archival footage. Uh, Metal. Oh, that? Ah. When I saw the flight attendant, honestly, I thought it, it was one of the English teachers. I didn't know that was Nell Rainwalker. I knew that she would appear in it. Hmm. Uh, Helen Mirren, Dwayne Johnson. Kurt Russell appears for your archival footage. Beat Davidson, Lucas Black does not appear in the film at all. Yeah, Debbie Ryan and Josh Dunn have cameos in this, which is it's so fucking weird. Anyway. Yeah, that's it. Uh, so, predictable writing, like one-liners, and uh, there's a post-credit, and I just looked up, is there a post-credit, and the answer that I got was yes. So, Google didn't tell me what the post-credit was, it just told me that there is a post-credit. And I thought, yep, this post-credit is going to be The Rock. And it was The Rock. The only thing I was surprised by was Gal Gadot appearing in it. Did she even get credit here? No, I don't think she did. Yeah, she she appears at the very end. So it's got predictable writing, other than Gal Gadot. Uh, <clears throat> got terrible CGI in in the scene where when well, this doesn't even make sense. It's is at the very end where uh, Finn Diesel is trapped at like a dam of some kind with his son. And there's like two fuel tankers on the opposite ends of the road. I thought like, and Jason was like, yes, I have you trapped now. And I thought, nope, he's either going to reverse into the water or go forward over the dam, into the water. It's like, oh, but what was it? Finn Diesel said it was some really stupid. Surprisingly, it wasn't. Oh, I oh, think you took everything away from me, but you, there's there's one thing you didn't take away from me. What's that? My copper. Then he drives over the the dam and just remember what blows the dam up and. Sorry, I hit, hit my controller off my phone. Um, he blows the dam up, and the explosion is going faster in the direction of Finn Diesel than the car is. So he's like, ah, shit. Uh, activates, like, the, the nitrous. <laughs> like, you know, you have that canister in the middle of the car. The fire... Is touching the nitrous. How the fuck is the nitrous can not exploding? Maybe I'm, maybe I'm being stupid. I don't know, but that just makes sense to me. But that's what would happen in real life. Anyway, uh, and like that scene where that happens, the CGI in it is terrible. <clears throat> um. Also. More, uh, remember me writing. So, Jason Momoa, his character is the son of the bad guy from Fast Five. So, he was there when they were pulling that safe out of the wall and carrying it with just two cars. So it, it was just like, you know. Oh, uh, you killed my dad, so I'm going to kill you. All that bullshit. Uh, yeah, they don't really have... I still enjoyed it. It was much, much better than Fast and Furious 9. Sorry, I dropped my tablet there. Uh... But still, it's a Fast and Furious movie, so 
I have a feeling there's an, another thing I've seen in cinema that, um, maybe I can check my, like, purchase history on Omniplex. Nah, uh, there's no purchase history. I swear there's something else that I've seen. Maybe it's Indiana Jones I'm thinking of. There's one. There's, like, seven movies that I was planning to see in June. So you've got... I'm going to my... My uploaded videos, see if I've uploaded these. We've got Puss in Bits 2. Shit, I forgot about the machine, but I don't... Mm. I don't actually know if that was counted as... June. I, I, I won't count it for now. Right, so you got Puss in Bits 2. Then... Spider-Verse. This one was 2, Spider-Verse, The Flash, Fast and Furious, Asteroid City, Indiana Jones, that's 6, what the fuck is 7? If I remember I'll just do a different video, even if there is something else anyway. Oh! Um, Big Eat Your Face, Politics, Universally Pause, the Ravens I Watch on DVD, Big Eat Your Face. Um, Carl Pilkington is only mentioned in it, he's not, um, I put my phone there. He's mentioned, he's not actually in it. Um, never seen a Big Eat Your Face thing before, like a full one, I've seen clips on YouTube though. It's, it's okay, but he spends like, Probably half. Sorry, I'm playing Assassin's Creed while I'm talking. He spends about half of first half of it talking about like fables that he was taught as a child, and it's like, ah, uh, what is the what is the moral of Humpty Dumpty? Well, don't don't sit on a ledge if you're an egg. Nah, it's just, I I think we'd be better off just. You should have talked about something else. Because it wasn't really that funny, in my opinion. But the, the last half was good. One thing that I'm confused about, though, is the fact that... On on my copy of the DVD, at the very back, it shows, like, three pictures. Like, stills from the, uh, from the film. And what I don't get is... The fact that, sorry, on in those stills, he's just wearing a t-shirt, but yet for the entire thing, he's he's also wearing a jacket. So where did those pictures come from? Anyway, Dave Chappelle. Uh Quanamity and also Dave Chappelle the Bird Revelation. I'm gonna do do these two reviews at the same time, just for convenience sake because for some reason Netflix has put them together. Universally positive ratings. So watch on Netflix. No cast. Uh, Dave Chappelle. It's both of them are good. Um, yeah. Watched. Equanimity uh, with my granny, and she's like, "Oh, it's a black man." Mm. Like you haven't even heard him say anything yet. Like, don't judge it yet. Hold the fuck on. And the, m one of the first jokes he told, like maybe the second one or maybe even the first one, was that um, he retired for like twelve years, I think. Um, like in between the Anna Chappelle show and this, he was he just basically disappeared, and he uh, made a joke that he did it so that he didn't end up like Kevin Hart, you know, uh, get so big to the point where you get offered like all these different Hollywood movies that are okay at best. 
and then never do stand up again. I don't get it. You fucking, you've seen literally every Kevin Hart movie, and yet you don't know who Kevin Hart is. But oh, you know Arctic Monkeys because someone mentioned it in a talk show or game show or something. Cat Williams, Great America, next ratings Netflix original film. Well, it's not Netflix. Cat Williams. Um. It's. It's good, but he spends a lot of time talking bullshit politics. Last thing, last thing I'm gonna do for this video is we're getting review for Ebbet Mickey Two. I fucking loved the first game as a child. Never got the second game for some reason, and I saw that it was on sale a while back and decided to get it. I started playing it probably at the start of May. I uh, I took so long because I decided, you know what? I'm gonna excuse me, I'm gonna um what the fuck was I going with this? Oh, right, when you pause the game it'll be like, Oh, you're on episode one or something like that and I was like, Okay. I will do the review when it starts to say episode 2. But it's nearly halfway through the game. So, it's, it's good. Uh, I don't have anything else to say about it. 